Focal Point weather alert for us in effect, and it's not for today because the snow will melt a little more today, but uh, looking Thursday into Friday, Michelle, this is kind of a messy situation. Yeah, it starts off just as rain, but even that could create some waterlogged roadways, yeah. some street flooding. Today's a good day to get out and clean off storm drains, your front steps of any residual slush, because okay. as the rain moves in and those temperatures drop, things will ice over. Let's take a look right now at North Kingstown. Overcast skies, still that snow on the ground, and we will again see some melting today. It's a mainly dry day. There's just a small chance of a light shower, a few sprinkles this afternoon and this evening. Better chance for rainfall on Thursday. Clouds, fog as well as that temperature going to be warming up and the roads at that point just wet and slushy. Travel impacts grow on Friday as the temperatures drop. Rain changes to sleet and ice ending as some snow, and that's going to lead to again some icy road conditions, especially inland spots. Now, the best shot at a few inches of accumulation in both snow and sleet here would be this winter storm watch area. So it's been an issue for Boston, for Worcester, uh, for Springfield. Nothing yet in Rhode Island or southeastern Massachusetts, but I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a winter weather advisory because of this system. Here it is. Is it stretches across the center of the nation right now. You can see snow in Chicago and St. Louis, heavy rain moving through parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, and South Central Ohio. Well, all of that delayed for another 24 to 36 hours around here. So we've got dry conditions and warmer temperatures this morning. Huge difference this morning compared to the last couple of mornings. Instead of single digits and below zero in Taunton, we're in the 30s this morning, 32 degrees there, 31 in Coventry, 33 currently in Narragansett. And we're going to keep on climbing this morning despite the cloud cover around temperatures middle and upper 30s by the late morning hours with the afternoon bringing that chance for a spot shower. That'll continue into the early evening highs today around 41. We're back to the upper 30s at 6 o'clock this evening, and we won't drop much below the mid 30s tonight. So a mild night and a cloudy one you may see a little mist or an isolated shower. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon. Notice that spot shower lifting through eastern New England 8 o'clock at 9, mainly cloudy skies, but mostly dry. Rain starts to move in on Thursday morning. Again, we're in the 40s. We're only tracking rainfall for Thursday and even through most of Thursday night. Night. This is 7 o'clock as the rain picks up in its intensity and street flooding is one of the things we'll be watching for. Falling temperatures Friday, so we're already Friday morning transitioning from rain to some freezing rain and sleet. This is snow and north of the Mass Pike accumulating there, so travel all across southern New England Friday morning for the commute could be slow and slippery, and that'll continue throughout the day on Friday. So several hours of sleet and freezing rain, a possibility around here. Again, accumulating snow kept more to the north of us, especially northern New England amounts much less around here. But look at the uh, sleet and freezing rain that could accumulate in southern New England. So we are looking at falling temperatures, light snow to end, icy travel conditions, and the threat of a flash freeze. We'll go from the 30s Friday morning to the teens Friday evening and Friday night. And ahead of that, again, melting and washing away a lot of the snow from the weekend with the temperatures and the conditions we're going to see the next two days. This upcoming weekend, nice to take a little breather. Got a cold, dry weekend ahead of us.